What it do people and I'm back with another reaction and this video I'm getting this video from Hip Hop News Uncensored okay so shout out to them alright um this video is strictly for informational use only okay no infringements rights or trying to take their work or anything like that because I know how hard it is to do these YouTube videos so I'm definitely paying homage to every and anybody videos that I share okay so make sure y'all subscribe hit that like button and let's get into this Corey Miller publicist and what's going on with him in general right now and she sent pictures and she sent pictures so we're gonna get into this and listen to what the host of Hip Hop News Uncensored had to say. Okay. Like, this is my first time even following this channel. I had to start following it. Like, what the easy? You know? And, um, that's it right there. I let it up. Hip Hop News Uncensored. Okay. And let's get into what is going on. Right, and I'm going to kind of, you know, get to the point, and I'll give you guys, you know, exactly what she wrote to me, word for word, right? Well, they are concerned about the health of Corey Miller, and at this point, he's not in grave condition, but it's getting worse, progressively worse by the day. Now, she went on to say, solitary confinement, recently, Mr. Miller passed out. He received no follow-up medical care in response to this event, and because Mr. Miller asked for and did not receive an investigation of circumstances of his passing now he was placed in solitary confinement now in retaliation for his health crisis Corey Miller continues to suffer with chronic dental issues that have led to significant weight loss and has been denied you know his much needed thyroid medications because of the state of Louisiana says they cannot obtain certain medications now he's also on another hunger strike right because conditions in Allen Hunt Correctional Center have not improved Mr. Miller is engaging in a hunger strike that began on February the 23rd of 2023 that's a week ago now right now to bring awareness to his all Hold on a second. I had to stop this video for a second because I heard about this hunger strike way before then okay he was on hunger strike for a minute it was not of 2023. I don't know where that information came from. But if y'all go into the archives and y'all look deep and stuff like that, it was back when Monica was going to court for him, trying to get the pills and stuff or whatever. Actually, and it was all on the blogs about how Master P helped keep him behind bars for another 10 years or something like that. So go... And research and stuff like that. We're not. I'm not gonna go look through all that or whatever the case is. Like right down. But his hunger strike has been going on for a little moment. If y'all have not, like, been keeping updates on the OG. Like, also, if y'all know and been keeping updates, y'all know that he is still locked up. For some shit that he's been proven innocent of. Now, where they do that at? Louisiana. Because y'all know they don't follow the same United States laws as every other state. They don't. Look it up. Is it Louisiana or is it Illinois? It's one of them motherfuckers. Run them states down there. Do not follow the same laws and stuff like that of the United States. They got their own laws. And they've been had their own laws since slavery. <laughs> Okay, so, like, that's why when people be like, yeah, I'm moving down south, da, da, da. I'm not moving down there. I don't want to go down there. I don't even want to be up north, but, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't with this cold shit. Like, for real, for real. But we're going to get back into this. Like, shout out to Hip Hop News Uncensored. Like, for real. I don't even know. It just came across my my, my feed. Like that makes neglect abuse at the hands of the crazy. Louisiana penal system, right? And let me go back to the top. And uh, this is um, 
what they wrote the first paragraph. On behalf of the Miller family, it's an ongoing campaign to have justice served. Lisa Jackson, publicist of C Murder, and Steven Johnson, manager for Corey Miller C Murder, are requesting the release of information to the public about Corey and his current situation at Allen Hunt Correctional Center. We are asking Kim Kardashian, right? As the prison reform legal team represent Mr. Miller to help bring immediate public awareness to Corey's entire situation, wrongful conviction from the state of Louisiana, the state of Louisiana suppression of evidence, humane, inhumane treatment conditions in prisons and his health. It is imperative now more than ever that a quick strategic move is made as his health has significantly declined due to the prison system humane inhumane condition and he is not getting proper medical treatment fortunately unfortunately we have disturbing visual and written information about mr miller's situation and um it's you know we we've covered the story we talked to you know his rep we talked to uh, master p you know last year about it and we, we, we covered the story on numerous occasions and you know it's a lot it's a lot that goes in to the story now what they're asking for and I'll put the link at the top line of the description box is for you to go to the purpleunion.org and pretty much that's prisoners union for reform and um, it's an organization I guess if you want to help out you can go there the link will be at the top line of the description box but we've been on this you know from the start you know, uh, because it's one of those things where it's like, okay, was justice really served? There are a lot of inconsistencies, I think, with the witnesses, from what I can remember. And, um, you know, testimonies being recanted. And it's been a while, about 20-some years now. So it's like, all you want is to fight for justice. Now, if this person did what they, you know, said that he did, then I'm sure there's an appropriate penalty that, you know, is, you know, you know, uh, chosen by the Louisiana system and chosen by the judge, you know, for people to serve. We see it all the time. No, I don't think it's always just for some people because I think the system is flawed in a lot of ways. But, hey, it's the system that we in, right? But from my observation and perspective of the particular case, it feels like that he definitely has a case here. He definitely has a case. It almost seemed like... They were just looking for somebody to pin this on. And, you know, mm -hmm. he was the easiest target to pin this on. Now, you know, they use his lyrics in court. The fact that he was named C. Murder obviously didn't help that situation, you know, at all. So, and yeah, they're asking, they went off his name. you know, for everyone's help right there. Like I said, the link will be at the top line of the description box. I'll make sure that somebody uh, does a write-up on hiphopun.com, you know, about this particular um, press release and this new new press release that just came out that I'm sure it hit the media you know if it didn't already it probably hit it tomorrow the next couple of days that you know his, he's fading fast that's what the title says he is fading fast now I'm not really you know astute to thyroid issues and whatnot um, so if you're you know know about that leave you know comment it's nothing to play with that thyroid shit is nothing to play with and obviously, he's been going through that since he was younger. Because I was just had a conversation, actually, with my sister about, you know, the thyroids and stuff like that. I had a cold. And my throat was feeling, like, you know, a little swollen. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? But come to find out, you know, I had strep or whatever. Don't ask me how I got it. But I, got, I had got strep throat, you know. But, you know, dealing with them kids. And they just germ factories all over. But that gland shit, you know, like I said, I was talking with my sister and I was telling her how my throat was feeling. I was scared and stuff or whatever. I think it was my thyroid or whatever the case is. And she was like, no, bitch, don't worry about that. Because if that shit hasn't flared up ever in your life, you know, you really don't have to worry about that after 28. Like, you know, but of course, you know, I did some research or whatever the case is. And to come to realization, she was a little correct or whatever the case is after a certain age or whatever if your thyroids have not been bothering you and you've known and you've hereditarily have thyroid problems you know they will bother you in life and stuff like that if you ever have been treated for them you know um maybe they not 
bothering you in, in a few years and stuff like that but as you get older and progress and stuff like that and elevate and it, it, it will bother you you know and especially if you're not treating it correctly and eating healthy and you know the way you're supposed to eat and stuff like that because y'all know we ain't my meds what that can affect with you um but again if you got certain dental issues and you can't get that treated that too. you know that's not good because we all know that the teeth you know teeth are connected to other things and you know when the teeth it's start the going down, you start so everything all your illnesses every fucking thing so if y'all have been rocking with me and on my instagram and stuff y'all know my teeth ain't in the best of health okay but i do i'm very concerned about oral health and oral hygiene is definitely number one you know and y'all already know i already made another appointment for the dentist so and i will be taking y'all with me so okay y'all already know <laughs> but yes dental hygiene is everything so i have dental issues and you can't get them you know corrected Certain people can die. No, seriously. Certain, you know, Dental, I'm, I'm going to get into this shit. Dental hygiene. Dental hygiene is serious. Because if you fucking let a motherfucker with a stink ass breath eat your shit. Like, like just toss your salad and shit. Girl. You in for some shit. Especially if you done. If you. T- what A clean bitch like myself. And don't fuck everything. And all that. You know. <laughs> Girl. I'm, I promise you, and I'm really not trying to be funny and stuff like that, but even, I, I wouldn't really know about Dirty Pussy, but listen, <laughs> okay, let a motherfucker with poor um, dental hygiene toss that salad. You talking about itching and yeast infections and stuff? Bitch, you gonna go through a whole, a whole... <laughs> <laughs> Girl, stop playing. Mm-hmm. That's why. Hmm. Yes, you can catch stuff through getting head. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Infection or something's not addressed, you definitely can pass away you know, from a tooth infection or something like that. So it's definitely important that that you know that those things get handled. And you want to see. You know, this is what you want. You want to. I mean, you got guys like Meek and Jay and people, uh, Kim Kardashian, yeah, that are fighting. Either. For prison reform, this is what you want to see. You want to see people get involved. Yeah, we do want to see everybody get involved. So all the links that he have in his description, they will be in this description for this video. So make sure y'all tune in. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Also, make sure you guys write in and try to help. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't need to be in jail for some a crime he didn't do. Y'all heard what he said. I already told y'all that he was in jail for or for nothing. And you know how long he been locked up? That's like a civil rights case. He got a whole civil rights case. And I'm not even understanding how or why he's still in there. Meaning that who his brother is and stuff like that. But also, I also told y'all. Yeah, I said it. I also told y'all that his brother was supposed to have like agreed to leave him in there for a little while and stuff or whatever like it was some fuck shit it was some whole total fuck shit it should definitely still be out there make sure y'all stay tuned hit that like button hit that subscribe let me know in the comments what y'all thought of the video on c murder going through this hunger strike and you know just them fucking him over all the way around dig until next time, people, stay blessed, stay safe, stay honest, <laughs> and stay high.